Glad to join us again. This is News Now. I am Frank Malape. The Independent National Electoral Commission has on Sunday declared Governor Shei Makidi uh, Babajide Sawolu, Dakwa uh, Biodo of Ogun State, Muhammad Yahaya of Gombe, May Malaboni of Yerbe, and Abdul Rahman Abdul Razak of Kwara are staged the winners of Saturday's governorship election. Also, the People's Democratic Party candidate in Akwaibom State, uh, Pastor Umoeno, uh, Dr. Diko Rada of the Kistina State of Progressive Congress, and his counterpart in Jigawa State, Namadi uh, Damodi, emerged as the governor's elect. The APC candidate in the Sakwato State governorship election, Ahmed Sakwato, uh, similarly emerged as the governor elect in the statewide. Borno State Governor Baba Ganazulum was set for victory, having won the 2022 uh, 20 local government areas declared so far in the state on Sunday. Makede of the PDP was declared the winner of the governorship poll in Noya State after scoring 563,756 votes to beat his closest rival, Teslim Folari. Of the All Progressive Congress, scored about 256,885 votes. In Kwara State, the state governor and APC candidate garnered 273,424 votes to beat his closest rival. And Yaman Abdullahi of the People's Democratic Party scored 155,490 votes in the election. In Benmi, the APC governorship candidate, Reverend Father uh, Hyacinth Alia, is comfortably leading in the results so far announced. However, the final result of the governorship election may not be announced by INEC following the postponement of the election in Kwande local government area. Elections could not be held in the local government on Saturday due to the errors on the ballot papers meant for one of the state constituencies. And now the Independent National Electoral Commission has declared Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajine Sawolu of the All Progressives Congress as Governor-elect. Aguji Kora reports that the Governor was declared winner of Saturday's exercise after he polled a total of 764,134 votes to defeat opposition Labour Party's candidate Ibadebo Road Fiver and Dr. Olajide Adidero of the People's Democratic Party. The report now. The state returning officer of the electoral body, Professor Adenike, after several hours of collision of election results, said the candidate of the APC scored the highest number of votes and is returned elected. <laughs> Having satisfied, having satisfied the requirements of the law uh, by scoring 25% in two thirds of the local government areas of the state, and also having the highest number of votes cast. And meeting the requirements of the law is hereby declared the winner and is returned elected. Yeah! Signed by Professor Adeniki Oladiji. And a swift reaction to the results presented by the coalition officers from the 20 local government areas of the state, chairman of the Labour Party in the state, Mrs. Tayo Ekong, called on the commission to cancel the election following irregularities that marred the conduct of the election. She urged the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to cancel outrightly the governorship and House of Assembly elections conducted on March 18 in Lagos over electoral malpractice and irregularities. The Labour Party chairperson and state coalition agent of the party raised our observation after the coalition officer of Etiosa local government area presented the results of the rescheduled elections in 10 units of the local government. In a reaction, coalition agent of APC, Fuad Oki, said it was only normal for losers to force the process. It is not about winning or losing. It is about protecting the losses, the voters' rights. I want to say this. People 
brought in blood and they were killed. They were killed. And as a result of this, a lot of things happened. Madam, please, what is the point you are trying to make? And in the meantime, the Lagos state governor elect and candidate of the APC in last Saturday's governorship election, Governor Babajine Sawolo, has promised that his government will keep all the promises made to the people of Lagos state during the campaigns. The governor made this known at the Lagos House Marina while giving the victory speech for his re election following the official announcement by the Independent National Electoral Commission in the state. Again, I'm Boji Korea has details. That was the situation at the Lagos House and Marina following the declaration of the candidate of the All Progressive Congress and incumbent governor, Mr. Babaji Samonu. Governor elect and incumbent governor of Lagos State while appreciating the people for their vote said its re election for a second term has confirmed that Lagos people chose competence and experience on the march to true greatness. Governor Saunlu said that elections were over and that governance must continue and that the dividends of democracy must continue to be delivered to the people. We cannot do it without all of the support that you continue to give Femi and I. To all of our fellow contestants, we want to salute you for participating in the democratic process. But the Russians have spoken, and they have spoken well. They have spoken loud. Please remember that we're extending a hand of fellowship to you. No victor, no vanquish, in the true spirit of sportsmanship. If you indeed believe that you want to serve this city, you want to serve this state, you have an opportunity with us. And we will open our doors to listen and to give you a space in this government. During this campaign, unfortunately, we have seen very divisive rhetoric, which is not a definition of who we are. And so, Lagosians, we need to come together and further build the capacity, the competence, and the experience that we have in this city. Religious will not divide us. Ethnicity will not divide us. Lagos will come out bigger, stronger, and better. On the spot, the deputy governor-elect and incumbent deputy governor of Bafemi Amza also said the governor and his team will continue on the plan for a greater Lagos. The people have spoken. So our job now is to make sure that we deliver on what we promised them during that campaign. So we cannot do campaign for the next four years. The essence is to go and govern, deliver on various things. We have the team's agenda that we're pursuing, and I'm sure you'll hear team's plot very soon. So the, the issue for us is how do we deliver on those goods? In the process of campaigning, we've gone through the whole state. People have expressed their aspirations, their opinion, their thinkings, areas where they think we've not done well and areas where they think we should do more. So for us is to take all those in and make sure that we go and satisfy the Gosha. Because the truth of the matter is they make the choice and they can always make their choice based on anything. So for us is to satisfy them and make sure that we do the right thing by the Gosha. Governor Sao Lu was declared winner of the Lagos State Governorship election after pulling a total 762,134 valid votes to defeat Labour Party's governorship candidate who pulled 312,329 and the People's Democratic Party 62,449 votes.